how nice is this place? Check it out. This is a local swimming hole known as McCormick's Hole. Up here in northeast Victoria, about 10 minutes up the King Valley from Whitfield. It's a deep hole here on the King River. I've often wondered just how deep it is. So today I've brought out my deeper Chirp Plus and I'm going to sound out McCormick's Hole just to get an idea of how deep it is. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Rightio folks, let's get started. I have actually just worked out that I can use this phone as an audio recorder as well as a video recorder, which is really cool. Let's lob the deeper out into the centre of the pool. How deep is McCormick's hole? Wow, three metres. See the little white spots on the screen there? Right now, the finder is going right through the centre of the hole. Those white spots, I suspect, are air bubbles. There's a lot of air bubbles in the water here because of all the current and everything being so turbulent. I have got the sensitivity down low. If I turn that sensitivity up, watch what happens. Everything goes blue. Look at all the, the screen there. I go down, I get rid of a lot of those air bubbles. That's common in fast flowing water. If I turn the sensitivity right down and off, it'll pretty much just give me the depth. So I'll put it, I'll put it up a little bit. I'll put it, I'll put it around 5%, which is very, very, very low. The main thing I wanted to do today, I'm not looking for fish in this fast flowing water. I'm just looking for depth. I just want to know how deep McCormick's hole is. So I'll reel that in. You'll notice that I'm holding the rod and the, the phone pretty awkward. I have actually got a, a bracket for my rod and I bought it with me today. But the reason that I'm not using it is because when I take a screen video with my phone, it's very, very important that I keep the phone on in landscape mode. If I tip my phone up, it, uh, it flips the, the screen and the resolution changes of the video and it becomes really poor quality. So if I use the bracket on my rod, when I go to cast, it lifts the rod, it lifts the phone upright, which changes the orientation of the phone, which just affects the video quality. So I can't use that, um, that bracket for a video. Anyway, let's go right over there in the really fast water. It's only 50, 60 centimetres, 70 centimetres, 90 centimetres, a metre, a metre one. Here we go, we're dropping down now. It's only about a metre out. It's a metre out from that rock wall over there. It's running right along the edge of that rock wall and it's in 1.6 metres. That rock wall over there, you probably can't see in the video, there's a rope running down it where people lift themselves up with the rope, then they jump off the rock. And you can see why, because just in front of that rock now is 3.8 metres of water. 3.8 metres, wow. If you look at the bottom of the screen here, you will see lots of like spikes, like up and down, up and down. It's a very uneven bottom. That's actually not the bottom, so to speak. That is more the fact that the actual unit, the deeper unit, is bouncing up and down as it comes through the current. The water's very turbulent. It's not smooth, it's not flat. So as I'm winding it in now, you can see that same effect. If you put the water in, if you put the unit in smoother water, say right here in front of me, the bottom will probably look flatter, although that is still moving around a bit, that water. It's, it's, <laughs> the bottom's actually hidden behind the numbers at the moment, 10.4, because it's so shallow. Here we go. You see that? Where the water's smoother, the bottom is much smoother. But when I put it back out now into the fast water, the bottom will be all over the shop. So let's run it out. Let's, let's run through this really fast, turbulent water over there. 90 centimetres, and the bottom will be all over the shop, no doubt, because it is bouncing up and down like a yo-yo in that current out there. I can see the unit that's bobbing as it moves down the current, and that's what's causing the bottom to look all topsy-turvy. All right, we're down to 2.3, 2.5. 3 metres, 3.1 metres, that's 3.1 metres just coming through the centre of the pool there and dropping right down. Because the sensitivity is low, it's not picking up much, it's just getting those little white dots through the water, which is probably air bubbles, which indicates very high oxygen content in the water. But it's not actually showing any structure, it would still show if there was any logs or big rocks or anything on the bottom, it would still show them, even with the low sensitivity. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna, so far I think was it 3.8 or 3.9 was the deepest I've found. 2.1 meters there. That, that 
um, deeper chirp. The unit itself now is just coming right through the main swimming part where it's 3.3 metres. So 10 feet of water. 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. Can we get four? Can we get four? 3.8 again. Where's the unit? There. So out here, it's 3.9 metres deep. Wow. Right, yeah, folks. So there you go. McCormick's hole is about four metres deep at the moment. Let's, uh, let's take this camera for a little walk down to the river. Just five minutes with the deeper chirp tells me that at the moment with the water being a little bit higher than normal, it's around 70 to 80 centimetres over there. Drops down to a metre and a half to two metres here. Out here in front of the rock that the people jump off, there's close to four metres. The deepest I found out there at the moment was four point, oh, sorry, 3.9 metres. So it's just nudging four metres. Then it slowly comes up. But even back down here, we're still looking at around two metres of water before, the, before it uh, starts to shallow out and then go down the rapids down here. Now, you probably couldn't see it when I was talking before, but if you look closely at the rock over there, you'll see a rope going up. You can see the rope going up there. People swim across there, and I've done this when I was younger, grab that rope, use the rope to assist themselves to climb up to the top of that rock where they jump down. Now, at the moment, the river is a bit higher than normal, but even in summer when it's low, you're still looking at 3.6, 3.7 metres. That's what makes McCormick, McCormick's Hole such a popular swimming spot for locals. On top of that, you've got the crystal clear water and the fact that it is nice and cool as the water comes out of the bottom of Lake William Hovel. McCormick's Hole, sounded out with a deeper chirp. Awesome.